In our previous video, we had a fun time in configuring WPA2 with a pre-shared key on a small office home office router. And in this video, I'd like to talk about a bigger idea. And that is using a controller which can manage the access points and then allow the administrator to talk to the controller. Let's put a plan in place and then we'll follow it up with a second video of actually implementing our plan. So regarding a plan of using a controller to manage our access points, let's Let's build a network together. So we'll do it logically first. In the next video, we'll actually do it step by step in the interfaces. So let's start off with the center of our network here. <laughs> and for our drawing here, that's going to be a switch. So this switch, this layer two switch, is going to be the glue between several devices. Let's go ahead and take the admin PC. Admin PC is connected to the switch. And then we are going to need a controller. So over here, I'll put a WLC, which is an acronym for Wireless LAN Controller. So this is an example of a controller that is physically in the same building as the access points. And then we'd want a few access points. Let's call this AP1 and AP2. And the concept could be spread out to multiple access points. And the idea here is that we would communicate with the Wireless LAN Controller. And then the wireless LAN controller, based on our instructions, would interact with the access points to tell them what to do, including the type of security to use. Now, to make this network all function, we're going to need some IP addresses. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's use the 10.16.0.0 network. And let's use a 24-bit mask. Sounds good. And for the admin PC, let's put him at dot .10. And for the wireless LAN controller, let's put him at dot .2. The access points will get IP addresses dynamically when they boot up via DHCP, which, which reminds me, we probably ought to put in here a DHCP server. So here we'll have a server that will be a DHCP server. And let's get a scope or a pool of addresses. Let's use dot 101 through uh, 150. It'll be more than enough. And for the default gateway, we'll hand out dot one on the network. And for DNS, let's hand out a Google DNS server. And this server's address, let's go ahead and have him be dot three. So if we take a look logically together at the steps to get this all running, we're going to need these devices on the network. And then we would need to connect from the admin PC over to the wireless LAN controller to configure it. And then when we bring the access points into the network, they would get an IP address from the DHCP server. Also, as part of the DHCP server configuration, we could hand out the IP address of the wireless LAN controller. And that way, when these guys boot up, get an IP address, they could basically check in with the wireless LAN controller and start to follow the instructions of that controller. So for the controller's address that we're going to hand out, it's going to be two, which is the IP address of the wireless LAN controller. And let's also plan on our wireless network name for the SSID. Let's use WLAN-1. And we use pre-shared keys with WPA2. And for the password, let's use Cisco, exclamation mark, two, three. And then to test it, we'd bring up a client, a wireless client. We'd tell it to join the network, WLAN-1. We'd specify we're using WPA2 with a pre-shared key. We'd supply the key. And then this client could also get an IP address from the DHCP server and communicate with other devices on the network. At least that's the plan. Now, that's a beautiful plan. It's a great idea. And that's the, the big concept of how this could work if we're using a controller. Now, here's what I'd like to invite us to do together in the very next video. Let's use Packet Tracer because it's so easy to put all these pieces together very quickly in Packet Tracer from the ground up. And that way, we can get hands-on practice in implementing a wireless LAN controller and implementing access points that work with that controller and then verifying it works on this nice, safe little playground called Packet Tracer. So we'll do that in the very next video. So I'll see you there in just a moment. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.